So I hope that most of you have had the opportunity to see the exhibition downstairs by Ho Chul Lee, here, who's sitting next to me. Um, if you haven't, obviously, you'll have the opportunity to see it uh, after this talk. Um, and uh, I'll just briefly introduce the two people who are going to be talking. So obviously, Ho Chul is the artist, um, and we're going to be talking about his work in, in some detail, so I'll keep it very short. But um, he has MAs in metal casting from Tokyo University of the Arts and in sculpture from our Royal College of, the Art, uh, Royal College of Art in um, London. And he's exhibited uh, widely, uh, particularly in Japan, where he's based. And he's going to be talking this evening with Jonathan Watkins, uh, who is a good friend of the Daiwa Foundation, I'm happy to say. Um, Jonathan is the director of Icon Gallery, the leading contemporary art gallery in Birmingham. And he's been there for more than 20 years. Um, That's true. My 21st year. Yeah. year. And uh, he uh, sits on loads of uh, prize panels and committees and writes widely about art. Um, I like to think he has a particular interest in Japanese contemporary art, which is why we've had quite a lot to do with Jonathan. Um, and impressively, Jonathan was nominated as one of the top 100 global thinkers by Foreign Policy magazine. So you're up in yeah. there with like, <coughs> I don't know, Obama and, and you know. Oh, absolutely. Uh, absolutely. Yeah, so, um, yeah, quite quite a thinker. So, anyway, I think we're going to start with a presentation by Ho Chul, is that right? Well, I'm going to oh, make yeah, a few uh, yeah. introductory yeah. comments uh, to some extent to uh, reiterate. Uh, points that uh, Jason made. I mean, I, it, it is a great privilege to uh, to be here to talk to Hachul tonight. I have a strong interest in in Japanese art. It's um, it's long standing. Before I did the Hayward exhibition in two thousand and one, which was the Japan Festival, uh, uh, an exhibition of contemporary Japanese art. Uh, including many artists that I love, and I have very little difficulty in thinking of a Japanese art that I'd like to include uh, in our artistic program at, at ICON. I mean, we have uh, one in mind for 2021. We've just shown Ria Nakajima uh, last year uh, at ICON. But perhaps the most memorable exhibition, to some extent because it happened twice uh, at ICON, was our Onkawara uh, exhibition. We, we made it first in 2002, we sent it around the world in a clockwise direction and it wound up back at Icon where we hung his date paintings in exactly the same place where they had been those years before. Uh, uh, an idea of um, repetition which is very important as far as Pachul's uh, work is concerned, also the idea of, of, um, of time passing. And um, and the fact that you, you, you know you sort of move around in a circle and wind up in the same uh, in the same place. I mean, the idea of sameness and difference in Kawara's work is um, is uh, is crucial as as part of the of the proposition and you know something very similar. I think uh, in terms of your practice, which is something that we can uh, expand on. But not only is it a question of of um, uh, this sort of fundamental um, uh, observation on the passage of time, something arguably which is particularly um, characteristic of Japanese art, but also um, um, uh, and process as well. But Onkawara was particularly interested in current affairs, and you are as well. I mean, when reading this, the artist's statement as a, an introduction to tonight's event, I mean, there are big questions about the way we're living now, which, to look at your work, uh, are not immediately evident. And it's going to be very interesting to be able to talk about your um, your in your lively interest in current affairs and how that affects your artistic practice. So there you are, I've just given you a kind of a, <laughs> kind of a, an anticipation, okay. a kind of okay. a steer as to the way the, the conversation might go uh, later. But um, 
I'm looking forward to that. And then also the, the possibility that the conversation opens out to the, to the to room as a whole. Um, but before that, it's Ho Chul on his own. So please uh, join me in welcoming him and uh, how much we look forward to that. Can I change it to... Yeah. Okay. It might be an opposite. No, no, no. I will get out of the way. Thank you very much for coming. Uh, I, I'm going to talk about my work and uh, myself. And uh, yes, I really hope that talk will help to understand my work, work more. Uh, yeah, after uh, Jason introduced me, I would like to introduce, introduce myself. I was in the IT prefecture in Japan. and. Uh, I graduated the uh, Tokyo University of Arts and uh, studied craft of uh, metal casting master course. And uh, I worked uh, as an artist for five years in Japan, uh, in Hiroshima. And uh, I, after that, I interested in to study, uh, find out more, and uh, came back to London and uh, studied in Royal College of Art and uh, graduated last year. And then uh, I'd like to share about my concern about uh, special language. Uh, I'm really interested in the definition. So I, I'm thinking the definition of words are not uniform and uh, they very vary between the dictionaries, people, and the cultures, and no single exact meaning of the world is understood or shared by everyone. Every individual approaches the world with a different context and with a different sense or idea of that world's meaning, which can lead to misunderstanding. I'm thinking this simple truth is easily, to, easily and frequently forgotten. So, I'm making works uh, based on this idea. Um, the work titled The uh, Second Insolvent is a series in which uh, different works are created using one common method. The method consists of creating new textures on the uh, surface of works uh, superimposed on already printed marks of the exact second of which the piece or section of the piece will be altered. I create uh, these new textures in real time, uh, synchronized metronomically. So I'd like to show the actual uh, photos I'm making. So this is the working process of the installation work I am showing the gallery up uh, downstairs. The, I made a written form and put sound in the form and, uh, push, and uh, make surface flat and uh, stamp the surface and uh, the stamp is the uh, date and time I will perform. I performed and uh, I arranged to the f arrange on the floor of the gallery. The photo is showing the installation uh, before breaking, please. Uh, I think that sound is not working, but uh, nobody.
No working. What what worry? The uh, the I'm breaking breaks uh, with confirming the time uh, with video of a kind of clock. And uh, actually, the video is uh, make a sound of metronome. The tick the tick the and uh, that sound is uh, synchronized the second. And uh, with uh, the sound and the video, I confirm the time and uh, breaking the circuit uh, of the brick. And then I broke the old brick, the installation will be finished. And uh, I'm thinking the, uh, the old, the craft of the brick showing the, each individual here, the individual uh, existence. So I'd like to talk about more specific keywords uh, that really help to understand uh, my work. And uh, there are four keywords, repetition, singularity, embodiment, and regularity. And the first thing is the repetition. The, the meaning of, for me of repetition is the, labor, time, meditation, and endurance. And uh, I prepared the reference of artists on Kawara and the teaching help. Yep. I, as he said, on Kawara is my biggest uh, uh, reference. Uh, I don't need, I'm thinking I don't need to talk about him, but <laughs> I will explain that what he said he did. He was uh, drawing paintings which is uh, written the letter of date and uh, he paint the painting on the exact same day of the painting and if he couldn't make the painting on the day he threw away the uh, this is his work and he i think he tried to do every every day no, uh, depends no, on, no, no. I think it depends on year. Sometimes, situation. sometimes you do one after another, but very often, you know, there could be long gaps be between. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think, yeah. But I think the, am I okay? <laughs> yeah, but I think the, he, I'm really interested in that he is thinking that work is kind of meditation. So I think this repetitive activity could be the, uh, could work to the, spiritual things, uh, mental, mental things. So, uh, there are a lot of uh, common factors with, between me, me and Onkara, but i really interested in the spiritual uh, effect of the repetitive, repetitive action. And then I'd like to talk about the teaching help. He's a Taiwanese artist. He, it, he, uh, he did the, uh, every hour of every day for a uh, whole year. Uh, he took the photograph of himself uh, with the time card machine. And then finally he showed the whole picture and the whole time card in gallery. And uh, he, I read the book written that he couldn't sleep well, and uh, so every hour he had to wake up, so he couldn't be on the bed for sleeping. That's really tough work. But I think that uh, the toughness showing the audience the how my toughness, what he did, uh, inspired audience to imagine how these works are uh, amazing, I think. So the endurance of the, these repetitive things could be, uh, could, could imagine the audience the, what happened actually there. So I'm thinking that I really respect the people who are doing repetitive action. And 
I would like to talk about singularity. Singularity is the main concept of my work, and uh, the some components uh, related with the singularity name, texture, and the accident, and time. And uh, I, when I introduced the Japanese philosopher Kojin Karatani, uh, Kojin Karatani is uh, uh, basically a researcher of the uh, Marxism. Uh, but sometimes uh, he talked about uh, uh, ontological things. So I would like to read what he written, written on this book. Uh, Theodore Adorno condensed in, oh sorry. Condensed in, uh, maybe, yes, the question, no. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. So, Theodore Adorno contains in negative dialectics which is his book, the universality raises the particularity of individual objects, but the truth is the particularity itself raises the singularity as well. So it means he is talking about the difference between the part particularity and the singularity. So if you we mentioned about the specific things with uh, talking about the official character of them, but uh, which is a different style with talking about universality. universality. But if we talk about the specific character of the specific things, it's not talking about the singularity because uh, everything has singularity, but something doesn't have a specific a special character. So I would like to talk about the singularity rather than a peculiarity. And so I'm gonna talk about the embodiment. And then I'd like to talk about uh, Takamatsu Jiro as a reference. He's very uh, I think he is very famous in Japan. Uh, he worked on, he worked as a kind of mono movement, which is, uh, they are uh, focused on the materialistic way and the materialistic way and the ontological philosophical things. And He's a uh, representative artist of the mono, monoha. Monoha is uh, the common word, I don't know. The, <laughs> yes, and then uh, he is, uh, he is basically a painter, but uh, he's doing a uh, similar work with me. Uh, he worked alongside of the river, and he found the uh, stones, and uh, he liked he wrote the uh, uh, number on the surface of the stone. The, it means that he is uh, trying to try to make a singular the uh, stones with uh, wrote the uh, number. So I'm thinking wrote the number. This number is working as a name of the stones. So that work is also inspired me, but I really, what I really like his, hmm? what point I really like his work is uh, he's doing, uh, he's trying to approach the uh, ontological kind of abstract things with uh, involved in the uh, natural materials. 
So not only think about the abstract things and uh, no, do abstract painting or something, but he is uh, trying to uh, trying to embody the uh, philosophical uh, ideas. So I really like his work, and uh, that really inspired me. And uh, at last, I would I would like to talk about regularity. So, mean the possibility of the restriction, I would like to talk about the exercise in style and uh, Robert Lyman. Exercise style is uh, uh, kind of a book, a big book written by the Raymond Kno which he is the French author of the uh, surrealist movement. Uh, that book is, has a uh, uh, hundred story, but exactly the old story is the same story. But written by the different characters and the different perspective of the characters, so sometimes the speaker changed to the young woman and the old woman. Although they are talking about the same story, uh, the expression, the, the feeling from the story is totally different. So I'm thinking the restriction is uh, enhanced to, to enhance how the way of, way of expression affects to the feeling. And uh, Robert Lyman is also very, very famous, so I don't need to talk about him, but I, I'll talk. Uh, he, is, uh, he was trying to draw the white painting with the square format. He, he only decided the this rule. Under the, this condition, he tried to explore to find the different texture of white and the different texture of the uh, compass, and uh, then how uh, how he can he explore how he can make uh, different impression of works. So, oh, so exercising style and uh, Robert Ryman is doing the he they are using the restriction positively. I'm thinking that uh, I'm really inspired by the style using a restriction of the kind of rule. And uh, they are, I'm thinking the sometimes the restriction is work, working as a negative way, but uh, they are using the restriction is very positive. And I, I direct to back to my work. and. Uh, the texture uh, imposed on the surface, and uh, I stamped, uh, I stamped the uh, date and time on the surface of the uh, materials, and then I erase them or uh, make a texture by cracks. Then I, I'm thinking the texture made uh, by a second uh, prompt, prompt uh, improvisational, improvisation, improvisationally that uh, makes the different texture and uh, that this texture is not unconsciousness so I cannot expect how texture will be but the unconsciousness makes the, uh, each individual texture that's why the uh, texture is uh, expressing the individual singularity. And then the, this exact time is the uh, kind of cue I, when I perform, when I make a texture. But also uh, the name is working as a name. Uh, the, the time is working as a name to 
define the each object. So I'm thinking the name, the time of date is working at the name, and uh, at the same time it's uh, showing the singularity. Um, yes. So I'm thinking these uh, condition uh, rule stamp the date and time and uh, making a texture at the time. It's uh, possible to expand more. So in the future, I would like to expand my work using a different texture, a different materials, and a different color or different size, and uh, expose uh, how I can make a different work uh, as Robert Lehman did. I'm excited for that. Thank you very much for listening. So Great. Should I change it? Oh, come on, hi. This, but I, I imagine everybody's seen the um, the show. I mean, there is this work on the left-hand side, and then the paintings on the right-hand side. Different colors. Not not paintings, not in white, but in <laughs> yeah. but in different colors. Yeah. And, and and great to um, you know great to have that uh, uh, presentation so that we're you know there's, a, there's all, you know we all we, we, that's something that we've all sh shared but of course you know every every gesture every word that's transmitted uh, is received differently by all of you it's a, yeah. a a singular thing as opposed to a particular. Uh, yeah. uh, particularity that you were uh, referring to, and I think that's the point that you make at the the end of your presentation. But you, re you know, right at the beginning. <clears throat> um, well, I mean, it's a big sort of epistemological problem that you that you pose. I mean, not, you know, what can we know? Because everything is said is heard differently by everybody, and and. You talk about words, and, and, and interestingly, that you're, of course, having to resort to words with your presentation. Resort. You resort to words. You, uh, I yeah. mean, you, you know, you have to, to get up and speak and write. But in your work, you don't use words, except, of course, in dates. Um, and is that because of, of the difficulty with words? So you mean the time it, it doesn't work as a word? Well, I mean, if you're interested in words but you're not using them, uh, yeah, I'm yeah, just yeah, wondering, yeah, yeah. you're not, you're not, you know, the work isn't necessarily communicating your understanding of the yeah. singularity of words. Yeah. So the reason I'm using the time rather than word is uh, Time is really nice for me because uh, for my work, I I'd like to prepare a lot of objects. The feeling there a lot is very important. And uh, if I use the specific word, uh, people can imagine the different things, the different context. Mm. But it's uh, my kind of noise for me. So, and then time, time is working as an uh, the, I say the IQ, when I, when I recognize the object and uh, when I take, uh, make a texture of them. And then the time is uh, unlimited. Mm -hmm. So I can, use, I can make so many stuff. Yeah. So I, I'm not restricted by the number of the object. Mm -hmm. So that's why I'm using uh, time. And then I'm thinking that <coughs> Okay, so, no, no, uh, yeah. so I, it's related with the idea of uh, my idea of time. I'm thinking the time when I'm when I'm using time. Many people are asking me the why I'm using time or something, and uh, the time is uh, tended to be understood as a successful thing. Uh, many many SMF images showing the uh, time is kind of a uh, space. The time machine is moving the kind
kind of toner mm -hmm. often in the as an image. But I don't think so. The I'm thinking time is no kind of uh, space. The time is kind of fragment, uh, a fragment, kind of the, just a moment. And the moment, after moment passed, the moment will be scattered. That's the image of the, uh, my image of time. Uh -huh. So, I'm, I'm feeling the, the time is the kind of uh, object. The mo moment is the kind of the object. Mm -hmm. So I'm using the this time. Yeah. But, uh, sorry, it's a bit different with uh, your question. No, no, no. I mean, we, yeah. I mean, it's interesting that you, that you, so you move the possibility of words then into a kind of um, assertion yeah. of time as, as something um, singular. And, and then it's something that, you, that involves a, a repetitive action yeah. of yours. I'm interested in, uh, obviously, in the reference to Onkawara, but also Robert Ryman. Artists who were working, um, you know, in in the United States after the after the Second World War, a kind of post-war ab abstraction, where emphasis was very much on process, and a kind of doneness. You almost like you know something awful had happened, and there are no words you could use to describe it, and you just resort to abstraction. I mean, it's, there's so much to say that you wind up saying nothing because you, you know, I mean, it's, um, you know, it's too much. And, I mean, in the case of Onkawara, I mean, the work arguably is the um, a response to Hiroshima and Nagasaki and, you know, what happened to Japan, uh, well, the entire world, but to Japan in particular at that time. You know, and for an artist uh, like that, whose work was very figurative, that was narrative, was telling a story, winds up just to sort of asserting his continued existence. And you could say the same thing was happening with, with, um, with the kind of formalist abstraction. You know, if you said to Ryman, what is your work about? I mean, you say, well, it's, it's what it is. You know, and I, you know, this, you know, I mean, it's a process. I'm slightly obsessed with hanging systems. Mm -hmm. But there is no, um, you know, there's no story that it's going to tell you. So rather than resorting to words, you're almost in an existentialist way asserting your continuing sort of ex existence, however you understand time. So, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm not sure about question. Well, in a way, it's more of an observation, but it's a very long, it, it was a long <laughs> one, wasn't it? But I mean, I'm trying try to, try to kind of um, uh, uh, expand on the, uh, on the correspondences that you that uh, you suggest, but I mean, then to take it into a question, because as as words aren't evidence, uh, neither are these big issues that concern you evident in your work. If we read your statements, you talk about datarism as a problem. You talk about nationalism as a problem. Yeah. Globalization, yeah. a kind of um, uh, an, sort of insistence on a kind of virtual reality, whereas you want to assert the individual and I suppose the singularity of a of a human being. So, can you talk about why why that concerns you, and how you translate you know these big questions that you're asking about the way oh, we live yeah, now yeah. into this kind of work? Oh yes. Oh. There's the question. Yes, it came uh, at the end, finally. <laughs> yeah. At, at the beginning, why when I inter interested in the singularity is. The kind of when I'm reading the online article or something, and uh, reading the uh, SNS, I really love reading Twitter. But uh, on the Twitter, there are a lot of uh, uh, kind of uh, stupid, uh, <laughs> <laughs> stupid discussion is happening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That sometimes very interesting, but sometimes they could hurt some people, mm. and. The, I'm thinking the people is consuming the uh, world quickly, so they don't imagine the each each context of the each world. So many misunderstand many misunderstanding is happening there. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, yeah, that's the uh, first point when I interested in that singularity. And how about nationalism? I mean, are you yeah, yeah. are you um, you talk about um, constriction? I mean, it, and I I I think you are not so interested in or opposed to the yeah. particular kinds of nationalism. Oh uh, yeah, so. <laughs> Yes. Interesting but, too, because but, of your Korean heritage, perhaps. Ah, uh, yes. So, yes, yes, yeah. Sometimes uh, people ask me the, my nationality is relating with my artwork or mm. something. Uh, uh, maybe I don't want to say that it's related with my nationality or something. But uh, actually, I'm feeling, I'm feeling that. I was living in Japan and uh, grew up in Japan. Then, then I have a lot of Japanese friends, but uh, many uh, Japanese people don't want to talk about the political thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. so I thought uh, I I was wonder why why they don't want to talk about the political thing because uh, I really interested in the uh, political thing from maybe teenager. So, and uh, after I became adult, I noticed that uh, my position, my condition, is uh, easier to under, easier to think about the political thing because uh, maybe young people it's difficult to imagine how politics influenced our lives, our uh, living stuff. But I really know that my grandfather came from. In Japan because of the Japanese government decision. So, yeah, that's the interest in the political thing that is related with my nationality mm -hmm. and uh, might be influenced my my con concept of my world. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then, and then I think, and I've uh, seen sorry, some documentation. And, uh, go on. And uh, to, so, to talk about nationalism as well. And, uh, mm -hmm. I mean, uh, there are some reasons, but maybe I, the, the big, biggest reason is uh, I'm, sh I'm watching, the, when I'm watching the theater, the, the stupid uh, <laughs> discussion is always happening related with, uh, the topics related with nationalism. Yeah, kind of racism. Mm. Yeah. So very easy to define character depends on the nationality. Oh yeah, Japanese are very neat and Japanese are very clean. <laughs> but there are a lot of dirty people in Japan. Uh -huh. uh, yeah. But yeah, that's the yeah, that's why I really do nationality. And then of course, I mean it's something we we make observations like that about Post Brexit, you know how nationalism might manifest itself, and there's a, a kind of, you know, increasing nationalism in the United States uh, right now. The virus is a foreign virus, <laughs> which is uh, was a fascinating thing to hear Trump yes. uh, yeah. say today. And I, as I was saying, I'd, I've only seen a small amount of documentation of your work before you came, before this body of work. But you worked in Hiroshima for some time, and you were involved there in artist groups, particularly groups that were socially engaged. Can you talk more about that as a, as a sort of a background? And then maybe to talk about that in relation to the way your work has subsequently oh, yeah. developed. So you mean the... How does your early work relate to... My early work? Yeah, your earlier work, for example, the work that you made in Hiroshima. Oh, uh, yes. Yeah. See, it's all online. Yeah, you can't escape. <laughs> there probably Maybe was a Twitter storm around. <laughs> but actually, I'm thinking my early work is not directly related with my current work. Uh -huh. So, to be honest, I don't want to show that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. But so, to, would you say then that your your Current work is a repudiation of, of your early work, or a kind of like a kind of uh, turnaround. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and 
And is it work? It would be interesting to know how your work changed oh, yeah. in London. I mean, do you mm. think that your experience here has had a significant effect? Uh, yes. So, before I, uh, coming to London, I also interested in the philosophical things. So, I was trying to relate it with the uh, ontological things with uh, making artworks, mm -hmm. but uh, so the then because the, so and then I, I was studying a class I think uh, and uh, I was making a uh, uh, kind of mold for ca casting mold mm -hmm. and casting them and so I really interested in the uh, kind of the relation between the mold and the inside of the uh, casting. So the my idea was the more uh, kind of materialistic ontology. But after coming to London, I read more books, and uh, then I read uh, a kind of Kojin uh, Karatani and uh, some, especially the philosopher like writing about philosopher writing about the children, mm -hmm. and uh, I interested in the relationship and uh, how. How our how our recognition changed the world. Mm -hmm. I interested in that. So my idea became more abstract. Yeah. There is um, uh, an interesting difference between you and uh, and Onkawara. If um, you consider the bricks, for example, yeah. that have the stamp and actually stamping things was very important to him, the idea that you make an impression, yeah. you know, through your action and then leave such a trace. But you are not satisfied with that. You then have this grid oh, and yeah. then you want to break it yeah. uh, up somehow and you create fragments of these neat bricks. It's almost to be as if Onkawara came to his date paintings and yeah, yeah, slashed yeah, them yeah, somehow, yeah, yeah. you know. Uh, and um, I mean, there's so so much to say, uh, you know, in the relationship between you two, and, and then what you do in terms of layering your work, and literally layering your work with the paintings, um, where, again, you're not satisfied with the grid and the numbers, you make this gesture with paint. Yeah. So you're either, a, you're breaking or you're obliterating something. Yeah. You know, it's um, a kind of, um, defilement somehow of something that is kind of neat and yeah. and pure yeah aesthetically pure can you talk about that what it, what is the impulse why do you mm. go why do you create this beautiful regular grid and then you break it yes uh, i as i imagine that uh, my idea is uh, connecting with language i think mm -hmm. so i'm Imagining the kind of document, so that's why the the number is neatly arranged. It looks like a document, mm -hmm. yeah. and uh, making texture is uh, kind of confirming, confirming, confirming each existence. So the time. There are some time I stamped, and uh, when then I recognize them, and uh, at the proof of recognition, I make the texture. Yeah, yeah. Which is the which is the hammer, hammer yeah. blow. Yeah, yeah. And and your use of paint. I mean, paint is <coughs> such a loaded, such a loaded medium, of course, because it's you know as soon as you start using paint, people think of artistic practice. Yeah. Uh, unlike making bricks, I think of construction work. Um, I mean, what what is it? I mean, are you thinking about painting as a medium? Are you thinking about the tradition of painting? Yeah. 
and oh. actually I don't care any material. I can I th I'm thinking I can use any material, but uh, if I started from the oil painting, uh, is the uh, kind of respect to the history, art history. I think. Mm. I mean, when you see the Ryman painting, I mean that's quite expressionistic. Yeah. And and of course it's not the only the only rectangle it's bound by yeah. is that of the of the canvas itself. Whereas here you've got lots of little boxes. Yeah. And the idea that the the artist has a particular touch, you know, I mean the special touch of the artist which is epitomized by the yeah. brush stroke. And then you're doing it second by second by second by second. I mean, it's a shame, in fact, that we didn't have any sound for your video because you hear the tick tock, tick tock, mm -hmm. and you're there. You know, you're you're having to keep up with that um, sort of assembly line yeah. of, of uh, activity. Yeah, yeah. But I think the texture should be should be done improvisationally, mm. so improvisationally. So the yes. So I don't like to think a lot to when I'm doing. Yeah. Yeah. So and then I'm thinking that if the kind of second is the kind of successful thing, is the kind of pattern, the same reason. But I'm thinking the time is not. Even if the second is the proceeding uh, rhythmically. The, the time is not stable. It is not It's not <coughs> same reason for depend on people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we are we are feeling different time mm -hmm. always. Yeah, sometimes it get, seems to go fast. Yeah. Sometimes it seems to go slow. Yes, yes. And there's this idea of meditation that yeah. you refer to. Even if I'm doing this work, I'm always feeling the different. Uh, Time spent, time, mm. time passing. Mm. Yeah, that's interesting. Speaking of, that's great. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you, audience, very much. Um,